How's it going guys? Harlan here at Cutthroat Anglers in Silverthorne, Colorado. We're going to be coming at you today um, with some information about midges and how to fish them and all that good stuff. Um, we're going to be going over how to build a box. Um, you know, we have the Blue River right behind us here, which is a midge heavy river. Um, so we get to, you know, really test these patterns to their fullest, um, see which ones we like. So the patterns we're going to be showing you are all tried and true patterns that we trust. So this is our standard, you know, midge life cycle box. Um, this is kind of what we would start with when we're building a midge box. Um, first, we can start at the larva stage. Um, that's going to be um, kind of your more common midge stage during the winter time. The patterns we have here, we have Matt McCannell's Demon Midge. That's a great pattern um, for the winter. It is a little flashier, a um, little more sleek, so we like that a lot. We also have the Black Beauty and the Mercury Midge. Um, both Dorsey flies, Pat Dorsey, a great tried and true classic. Um, another just great larva pattern. I tend to use the darker ones, um, you know, on cloudier days and these gray ones on some sunnier days. So then we move over to the midge or the zebra midge, the tungsten. Um, that's going to have a lot more weight in it. So, you know, fishing deeper runs, um, trying to get a little deeper in the pockets, that uh, tungsten beaded midge is going to be great for that. Um, all larva stage midges, so a great pattern to have. Poison tongue, um, that's made by Charlie Craven. We love that one. A little bit flashier, sometimes even used as a lead fly with that tungsten bead on it to get it down in the, in the run a little deeper. So, you know, you have your weighted and unweighted midge, midge larvas, um, both essential for, you know, your standard lifestyle midge box. Moving on to emergers, um, we'll start here with Myers tube midge. Um, you'll see the little white tufts on these. Um, that's basically representing a air bubble, air pocket that the midge is using to move on to the adult life cycle. So they're, you know, moving from the deeper parts of the river and that air pocket's gonna help bring those uh, emergers up. So we have that with Myers tube midge. We also have Garcia's Rojo midge. Um, both great emerger patterns, um, you know, kind of fished usually mid column to upper co water column um, in the winter time. Moving down here, we have the Jujube midge. Um, that is Craven's pattern. And that's gonna be a great emerger as well. A variety of different colors in the Jujube midge. Um, great for all different places, um, all different weather you're fishing. Um, so that can be fish, you know, behind a dry fly. That can be fish deep on a nymph rig, but another great emerger pattern from Craven. Moving on up, we are going to adult life cycle. That's going to be your dry flies. Um, these flies, we have the parachute Morgan's midge. Great pattern, fish behind, you know, a larger parachute atoms, um, or just, a, you know, a little bit larger dry fly makes it a little bit easier to see. Um, that little tail on the back is going to be great to get those fish's attention. We also have the adult midge right here. That is going to be a great pattern. Fish behind um, a dry fly just under the water surface. You could even nymph with that fly um, kind of as a sunken adult, um, but another great pattern there. Moving to the left here, we have the good old parachute atoms. Um, great pattern for a bunch of different variety of insects, but in the winter we're primarily using it for midges. Um, Fish behind even a larger parachute atom, that's a great pattern. We also have the Griffiths gnat in the normal one, and we also have it in high vis. Um, those patterns are great. It's basically a midge cluster. So basically just giving the, the fish, you know, um, more options. Um, you know, they'd rather eat a cluster of midges than just a single midge. So the Griffiths gnat is a great one on those big midge hatches during the winter. And last but not least, we have the um, Adams midge. Um, another discrete pattern, you know, usually fished behind another dry, so it's easier to see, um, but can be fished alone as well. Um, but that's a great pattern for top water and another great adult midge pattern. Overall, this is going to be your standard midge box um, covering all the life cycles. We go from larva to emergers to adults. Basically covers all of your midge life cycles and something you definitely want to have for um, wintertime fishing. Hopefully this helps you fishing midges in the winter, understanding the midge life cycles. Um, but if you ever need any help, please stop by our shop. Don't be afraid to ask any questions. We're here to help and uh, we hope you have good days on the water this winter.